Well, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, May 15th. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. Let me tell you, we have a great show to get you over the hump. So coming up, when you open up the history books, you will see her name. Jenny Kavnar is the primary play-by-play -play voice of the Oakland A's, making her the first woman to hold that title in MLB history. And guess what, y'all? She will be joining us live. And, of course, we are bringing you today's top talkers. Tom Brady has some things to say after his roast. All I'm going to say is, if you can't take the heat, honey, get out of the kitchen. And speaking of heat, fire up that barbecue because it is grilling season. Oh, no, not you, Tom, but actual steak. We have some top products just in time for the summer from ConsumerResourceBestReviews.com. So what do you say? Let's get this show cooking. And we begin with a woman paving the way in sports broadcasting. All this, it's sucking. Here's the pitch. She got him swinging and missing on one. Here's the pitch. Well, that is the voice of Jenny Kavnar, the primary play-by-play -play voice of the Oakland Athletics, not to mention the first woman to hold that title in MLB history. And fun fact, we went to high school together. And guess what, you all? She is joining us now live. Jenny, I am so excited to have you on the show. First off, I want to say I'm just so incredibly proud of you. Oh, well, thank you, Maggie. I'm proud of you. It's so cool oh. when you think about all those years ago. We will not drop what year that was that we were in high school. Uh, yeah, let's not mention the year. It's really, cool. <laughs> it's really cool to see all the great things um, that people are doing from our high school, including you. So um, thanks for having me on today. Well, I think it's so important because when we open the history books, I mean, your name is going to appear, Jenny. How does that make you feel, especially as a mother and a mother of a young daughter? Yeah, I think that's it, is that, um, you know, I've been working in sports television for a long time. I've been in Major League Baseball for 18 years. And I think um, when I got started in 2007 with the San Diego Padres, I, I had no clue, no idea, no vision board that suggested my path would be from a sideline reporter to in the booth calling play-by-play. -play. And so I just think it's a story that anything's possible, anything can happen um, if you work hard, if you have a passion for something, and if the right door is open open and that door was open for me from a female producer who saw something in me and said we're going to start grooming you for this we're going to be here to support you and those things were um, probably the biggest words that I needed at that time the words of encouragement to say this isn't about you doing something it's about us as a group and so that's when I was with the Rockies in 2018 mm -hmm. and you mentioned me being a mom I had just had my first child and there's no way uh, in my mind that I was going to go from you know being a working mom trying to figure out this new thing being a mom to now doing a brand new thing um, in the sports television world but because of the group that supported me I did and I'm glad I took that leap of faith I'm glad I opened the store um, for a lot of different women and now here's six years later getting my first job as a primary play-by-play -play voice and watching other women in the league getting an opportunity as well Julia Morales mm -hmm. at the Houston Astros the other night getting to call a game for the first time um, it's just really special to know that in the next six years in the next 10 years this won't even be a conversation because there's going to be more women not just in baseball but in other sports calling games as well like the NBA has a couple so I worked in sports radio and a lot of times people will judge a book by its cover so what would you say is the biggest challenge you've had to overcome and especially now doing play-by-play well, I think the biggest challenge right now is my voice, right? No one uh, listening to a Major League Baseball game has heard a female voice calling a game every single night. So I know it's different for a lot of fans, especially a lot of older fans uh, who grew up in the game, who grew up listening to baseball on the radio, who grew up, you know, obviously watching um, their team on television. It's always been a man's voice. So right out of the gate, it sounds different. Um, I grew up in the game. My dad was a longtime high school baseball coach at the high school that you and I went to. Yeah. And and um, I, I see the game from a different perspective. I see the game from that, from kind of growing up in, with, with a coach in my house. And I also have grown in the game through different analysts that I've worked with over the years. So uh, I think just the perspective that I have, the voice that I have, um, are challenges out of the gate to a lot of people. But um, I, I hope that my relationships in the game come through in the broadcast. I hope the storytelling that I have to offer comes through. And, um, you know, my partner, Dallas Braden, and I have known each other for 
for a very long time. So that chemistry is there as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll just continue to grow. And I like the fact that you're staying true to yourself. You're not trying to be someone that you're not. And I think that speaks volumes of your character. Also, I do want to talk because I'm a new mom and it's not easy balancing work life. You're a mother of two. Your husband is a firefighter. How on earth do you balance it all? Oh, it's crazy. That's probably the most chaotic part yeah. of this new job. You know, um, getting getting a job with the the Oakland Athletics. You know, they're a team that um, their future is uncertain in terms of what mm -hmm. city they're going to be in. And when I took the job, they they weren't even sure where they were going to be playing next year in the intermediate between moving um, from Oakland to Las Vegas eventually. And uh, you know, that has now come out that it will be in Sacramento. So initially, we did not move our family. We still ho uh, hold our home in Colorado, where my husband is a firefighter in Denver. And so, yeah, he's on a 24-hour shift sometimes I'm on the road and that means that we need a lot of help from our village and they're so amazing my parents help out all the time um, my sister-in-law that lives in Colorado my in-laws that live in California and we're just trying to make it as normal as possible for the kids or whatever our new normal is and yeah we don't work nine to fives we're not home for dinner all the time yeah. but we always make sure that someone who loves them and cares for them is with it with them at every event is taking them to and from school and that master calendar is in my hands <laughs> so that is the real challenge <laughs> and the hard work but again I can't stress the importance of being a working mom in any career mm -hmm. and how valuable the people around you the village becomes and I am just so grateful that my parents and my in-laws um, have taken on a huge uh, workload here in the summer while we have baseball and then the balance of our family is when I'm home I'm home I get to be with my kids I get to be a full-time mom when I'm there and when I'm on the road and I'm working and I'm doing baseball I'm here so um, you know I, I hope that I get a makeup for some of that time that I miss and thank God for FaceTime so we get to see Seriously. a lot of those little league at bats even when I'm gone. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Now, for all of the young girls watching right now, what would you say to them? Oh, man, I would just say believe, you know, believe in whatever you want to do. This is this is a world where a lot of people have worked really hard to make sure that there are opportunities and there are opportunities um, in, in a variety of places, specifically for us and where Maggie and I work in sports television or in television in general. The things you don't see is how many women are working behind the scenes as well, which is so cool. I had a female producer. I had a female director in Colorado. I have a female in, um, in California that hired me for this job that's in a position of power to make a change. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think that if you look around, you'll find representation in who you are in this world. And that's so important to me. And that's so important in pushing this door open and doing this job. No matter the pushback you get, I always kind of stay focused with that, that I know this next generation is better for the work that I'm putting in and the work that other women in our business are putting in. And I love the fact that you highlight women supporting women because that's so important. So so I support you. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Enjoy Houston. Maybe the Oakland A's, you can, you know, Thank announce you. a win. It's, I have to say the Astros, <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a tight game last night, but maybe we'll see. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it was a very good game. I know the Astros, I know you guys aren't used to being on that losing side of a record. So yeah. you know, it's really challenging around these parts <laughs> these days after There's all. There's a lot of those, yelling at the TV in my house. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jenny, I hope to catch up imagine. soon and keep making your magic and shining. Absolutely. Uh, Oh my gosh, it was so amazing talking to her. The fact we went to high school and now we're two female broadcasters and I'm just so incredibly proud of her and look up to her so much. And Jenny, as you know, is in town with the Oakland A's and she did have to announce a loss for the A's last night. Good news for the Strohs, they are on a winning streak. It's about time after an RBI single in the 10th that was enough to get them another win over the Athletics. The Houston Astros carved out a 2-1 to one victory in 10 innings over the Oakland Athletics and they did it on the backs of five relievers after starter Ronel Blanco was ejected. Pretty dramatic, I was watching with my husband. Blanco was ejected from the game following a foreign substance check on his glove before the top of the fourth inning. And here's the thing, it was really weird. The first base ump said there was nothing on Blanco's glove when he checked it in the middle of the first inning, but then he discovered it when he did his second check before the fourth. He says, quote, it was the stickiest stuff I've felt on a glove since we've been doing this for a few years now. 
Blanco, he denied using an illegal substance. He was saying he sweats a lot and they have rosin to kind of help get the sweat off and he thinks maybe that happened and it was so sticky. I'm not quite sure. I would like to believe our player. But the MLB, they began cracking down on foreign substances in June 2021. And Blanco, he's likely going to face a 10-game suspension for the infraction. Here's the thing. 10 games, it's a little bit different. My husband was explaining it to me. He's a pitcher, so basically it's two starts. But either way, you guys, you cannot cheat. You will get caught, but hopefully we'll see. I don't know if they test the glove or how that all works, but stay tuned for that. Hopefully we get another win tonight. Still to come, summer is nearly upon us, and if you're looking for summer activities for your little ones, never fear. We have got you covered. The Houston Grand Opera will have free summer programs for kids. They're going to be joining us live after the break. She leaves no case uncracked. All I see going on there is a liar and someone who owes a man money. People's Court, weekdays at 11 on CW 39 Houston. Attention, Southeast Texas homeowners. Statewide remodeling started with 50. Now we're looking for 30 homeowners who need new windows. We want to take out your old windows and install new Energy Star rated windows that qualify for the federal tax credit. 30 homeowners will receive special savings. Texans trust statewide remodeling, celebrating 30 years in business, A-plus rated with the BBB. Statewide has expertly installed over 300,000 windows. Be one of 30 homeowners who call now. Receive free installation on a house full of new windows. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts. Plus, call during this program and receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. Call now with zip code and location to qualify. We have dropped our electric consumption significantly since we put the new windows in. So I think uh, windows are a great investment. Statewide Remodeling is Texas's trusted local exterior remodeler celebrating 30 years in business. And now we're looking for 30 homeowners who need new windows. 30 homeowners will receive promotional pricing on beautiful Energy Star rated windows that qualify for an income tax credit through the Inflation Reduction Act. High performance, low maintenance windows that minimize air infiltration and tilt in for easy cleaning. Available with noise reducing glass. Be one of 30 homeowners who call now. Receive free installation on a house full of new windows. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts. Plus, call during this program and receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. Call now with zip code and location to qualify. Call 1-800-701-6694. That's 1-800-701-6694. Searching for dental implants? When you find yourself needing to replace all of your teeth, you've done the research. You've heard Renew Smile say we are up to 60% less than other providers. And maybe you thought to yourself, not a chance. But the reality is, that is 100% true. Renew Smiles is up to 60% less than other providers and offers low monthly financing, even with lower credit scores. Great value, high quality, happy patients, lives changed. Call today. We become. You are the bomb. When there's smoke, there becomes fire. I couldn't do this without you, Steve. Welcome back to Houston Happens. Summer will be here before we know it. Ready or not, right? Well, the Houston Grand Opera is announcing multiple art programming for students in grades pre-K and throughout Houston this summer. And most importantly, they're free. So we have a special guest joining us to tell us more. Introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. Good morning, Maggie. I'm Corey Dostuer from Houston Grand Opera. So excited to share with y'all what we have planned for the little ones this summer to get them off the screens and making some music in their lives. We're super excited to be able to offer this. I have to say, I love music and the impact it's had on my daughter's life. She's 19 months, 
Music is her favorite thing. So tell us why this is so important to incorporate at an early age. Well, same. I'm raising two girls myself. Um, their self-confidence, their yeah. ability to read faces, their ability to be verbal, to develop all those really important skills of empathy and community. And, and you know, it gives them so much brain development that they really need. So we're focused on pre-K through second grade. We'll be in Levy Park. We'll be bringing free programming to the Houston Public Library libraries, the Harris County Public Libraries, we'll be at Children's Museum Houston, inviting your guests to go to hgo.org slash community to learn all about our free programming over the summer for little ones. We really hope you can bring them out to join us. And you know, why not? You can't. I know, exactly. <laughs> well, what I love the fact is it's free because these activities for kids, it's expensive. And I feel like everybody should have access to this. HGO is so committed to expanding access to the arts um, for all of our Houstonians. And absolutely, you don't, especially if you don't know how your kid's going to respond to a full day camp, Sing, Move, Play gives them the perfect taste of making a little music. And it'll also help parents and other caretakers at home with a few tools of how to integrate music into your life at home, which we love. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm very excited about this. Again, tell everybody, do we need to register before? Can we just show up? How does it all work? You can just show up. We try to make this as easy as possible. HGO.org slash community to find local free programming near you. And Maggie, if I may, yes. the other exciting thing that's happening yeah. at 10 a.m. today, tickets go on sale for <gasps> HGO Family Day. This is a brand new initiative. We're letting kids take over the word of them, costume characters, crafts. November the 9th, we'll be doing an 11 a.m. performance, one show only of Cinderella. So we want all the kids of Houston to come out and really enjoy. The word of them is their space too, and we're really excited to roll this out. Oh my goodness, think about the memories you're helping people oh, create with kind. their little ones. Thank I mean, you. it's really magical out there. I want to check that out too. Hope so, to see you there with your little ones. Yes, <laughs> and she loves Cinderella. So this is going to be perfect. Again, you have to check out their website. They have all of these activities and to get those tickets for November 9th. We cannot wait. You know, I'm a huge fan of the opera and Thank I appreciate you so much, all that Maggie. you're doing for our community. Community free Edo. It doesn't get much better than all of that. I'd say sign up, but you don't have to, which is even better. <laughs> Especially when you're like in a pinch and you're like, what are we going to do today? Amen. Mommy ran up. Also, ladies, we all have the blues. What is this? <laughs> it's like we all planned it, but we did it. It's the royal blue, ma'am. The royal we are about royalty. Blue. Mom's here. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm excited. Here's what I'm excited about. Yesterday, I got a little burnt on my shoulders. Oh. I took May for a walk. We did bug spray. But it was Thank a beautiful you. day. It really was. It was warm, and it definitely isn't what we're going to see in the summer. <laughs> so I guess enjoy it now, especially if you want to get out of the house. Ah, golly, it is going to be such a lovely day with all of the sunshine temperatures getting really close to 90 degrees. We'll have a few clouds here and there, but overall, it's just a really nice day to get out unless you're in the sensitive group when it comes to ozone. Here's a look at our time lapse from the Wells Fargo camera, and you can see the pollution right there. In fact, today is an ozone action day. Harris County, Galveston, also Brazoria County is under this air quality alert from the National Weather Service because of the ozone in the atmosphere. But when it comes to everyone being affected, that's not the case. It's mainly for those that are in the sensitive group, like you have COPD, or asthma. These are the folks that you want to limit your time outdoors because it can really aggravate your asthma symptoms. So again, we have an ozone action day for today. So if your little ones do have asthma or a little bit of a hard time breathing, just let them play outside for a little bit and then bring them in for a nice little snack. All right, so right now outside, as you head out 76 degrees, winds from the west around five miles per hour. And today our highs are going to be reaching into those 90s, Maggie. It had to happen. It, it just, it's so sad. I know. Uh, I was looking, um, I think it's like April 28th or 27th. Oh, my brain is just focused on these 90s. Uh, but it was in late April yeah. that uh, we averaged to see those 90s. So, yeah, I guess. And the only okay. 90s I liked were when I got them in school on a test. <laughs> Amen. Just saying. But, but just it's, saying. it's not too humid. That's, that's no, what actually, nice that's about yesterday. why I felt yesterday it wasn't. I was worried about May. I had the stroller mm -hmm. fan hooked up, um, but no, it actually felt really nice. There was yeah. a breeze. Are we getting used to Houston weather? Oh, honey, 
Totally. When I first moved here, <laughs> that, I moved here in the summer. I didn't want to be here. I had to get my tonsils out. It was <gasps> my, in between my sophomore year, my parents had moved here in college. Mm. Miserable, but I'd walk out and start what? Sweating. Now it's like, oh, this is actually pleasant today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, stay tuned because with those temperatures, it means one thing. The summer is nearly upon us, and we have some things you definitely want to stock up on. So stay tuned for that. CW39's Lifestyle Show, Houston Happens, highlights local businesses every day. Our team's ready to help you reach more customers and grow your revenue. We'd love to speak with you. Please scan the QR code or email hhsales at cw39.com today. I was on my way to my doctor's appointment. I was nine months pregnant at the time at a red light, and I was rear-ended by a tow truck driver. The guy who hit me, he was pretty dishonest. He only gave a first name. He didn't even stay for the police report. With Jim Allen, they were able to dig deeper and actually find out where he came from and who he works for and things of that nature. If you've been in an accident, don't wait. Call Jim Allen. I'm Jim Allen, the Texas Hammer. I know how to get you all the money the law says is yours. Call today, 713-777-4000. Houston's number one spot for hit music and the Rule and Ryan show is 104.1 KRBE. The experience is everywhere you are. No radio required. Hey, it's Rule and Ryan from the Rule and Ryan show. Hi, and guess what? You can listen to us on the go, wherever you are, at work, on the run. Just get your phone out, download the free KRBE app. You can also listen to us on the iHeartRadio app or the TuneIn app. And you can tell your smart speaker, hey, Alexa, play KRBE. It's that easy. Stay with KRBE all day. Would you buy a life insurance policy if you knew your rate increased every five years? What if $9.95 a month bought you less than $1,000 in protection? Sadly, many policies that seniors buy today fail to mention this in their advertisements. You could buy a policy that might not give you enough coverage when you need it most. Call now to receive free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life Insurance Company. The Senior Care Plan guarantees your rates cannot increase. Your benefit will never decrease. There is no medical exam, and you will have lifetime coverage. You could qualify for up to $30,000 in whole life protection, and rates start as low as $5.90 a month. With the Senior Care Plan, your coverage can start immediately, unlike other policies that don't give you full coverage for two years. Call now for free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life. By calling now, you lock in the lowest rate possible. You have no obligation. Call now. Are you vote ready? Bring one of the seven approved forms of photo ID to the polls. Don't have a photo ID? If you do not possess and cannot reasonably obtain an approved photo ID, fill out a reasonable impediment declaration form and present another form of ID. Voting by mail? Provide one of the following numbers on your ballot. Visit votetexas.gov to learn more. Houston's weather always changing, preparing you for tomorrow. The news you want at the time you need. ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 9 on CW 39. All right, the time now is 923. Thanks for waking up with us on Houston Happens. And we're getting close to that halfway mark. And that means producer Lou is entering the chat. <laughs> Once again, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the chat, welcome. producer Lou. I don't know where that came my from. Little, my little segment. <laughs> Honestly, it's not little. It's big because you're part of it. And I'm so excited. And your teases, we got some great ones coming up. I was so excited. I want to let the word know I wrote the Tom Brady team. She did. <laughs> you guys want to know what makes magic? When you have a producer that becomes family that also is in your crazy head and writes <laughs> like you talk. If anyone in TV is like, oh, my producer and writer writes like I talk or how I'd write it, that's the biggest compliment in and this it industry. It really is. Every yeah. time you say that, I still think it's crazy that I'm able to like, ch I just channel you in my mind. You know, it's 5.30. I don't know if that's good. I'm writing this <laughs> And I go, what would Maggie say about this? What would she say? <laughs> what innuendo would she make? How close would we get? <laughs> well, I, I mean, it's a fun place to be in my head. So there you go. Well, I'm having fun. Okay? <laughs> I, 
don't know about dancing y'all. around there. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm so excited because we have some fun things coming up, but also some really hopeful things. Yeah. So I want to start off with this, Maggie. Let me pull it up for you. So a lot of families, as we know, in our area, right. they're struggling to recover from those devastating floodings that we had earlier this month. So we have an organization that's here to help them. So Seth Cover is going to join the chat, and he's going to tell us how this organization is actually fighting for the flood victims. That's really amazing. Yeah. And I so love I'm that. happy to we can share that with our viewers as well. But we also have some fun stuff to talk about. Okay. So we're going to celebrate our furry friends. Next door app has developed a platform that's going to help you support and care for your pets. So we're going to tell you more uh, coming up later in the show. And also, it you know it's time for that barbecue, Maggie. Who doesn't love this? I know. Mmm. Mmm. You like barbecue. What kind of meat do you like to barbecue? <laughs> We're going there. <laughs> We're going there. It sounded better in my head, and then I said it, and I was like, ooh. Honestly, ooh. you can't go wrong with the New York Strip. That's my favorite. I know it's not perfect you, for free, really, but... I love it. But I, yeah, uh, it's grilling season. Not you, Tom, but like, <laughs> I mean, I grill. He could go to my barbecue all day long. Okay. I mean, let's be real. You interviewed him. I did interview you all. He Does he have this like aura about him? Does honestly, it's like, like yeah. And he's the kindest. You all can love to hate him, but I love him because he was so nice to me. And he also has this beautiful skin and his yeah. hair. And you just look at him and you're like, my God. Did he have the perfect teeth? Like Everything. Oh, I was... I I, I was literally <laughs> right here. I mean, I have a, I did a MacGyver move when the big game, the Super Bowl was here. And I, I told my photo dog, I said, you stand here. I'm getting in the front. He's like, no, you're not. Oh, mama got in the front next to his agent. I didn't know it was his agent. Um, and he was Perfect. so nice to me. A guy tried to cut me off and he's like, uh-uh-uh. I believe she was first. I remember that. He was such a gentleman. He really was. So there you go. We're going to talk go. about him. He's a great <laughs> piece of steak. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I personally love ribs. My mom makes a uh, chef's kiss. The best ribs ever. Love that for you. Low and slow. I love it for me too. All right. Well, sounds good. I love the fact that we have plenty of Houston habits, so stay tuned for that. We're exiting the chat for commercial break. Here's what you know. You were injured in a crash involving a big truck. But here's what you don't know. The truck company is already taking steps that could hurt you and your family. Let Terry Bryan protect you. Call 713-973-8888. My knees were a mess. I'm a golfer. It's a very big thing in my life to be able to get in my car and go to the club and hit golf balls and practice. And I couldn't do this. My pain was so bad, I even considered surgery. I didn't want to have surgery because it would take me out of what I like to do too long, and I wanted to see if there was something out there that would prevent this. Do you suffer with arthritis pain? Is it keeping you from the activities you love and you feel that surgery is your only option? Then you need to call Arthritis Knee Pain Centers for a free, no-obligation screening today. Call 800-915-5717. That's 800-915-5717. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers use cutting-edge, image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with comfort and pain relief. Before the treatment, I was limited on what I could do. It was frustrating. If you had asked me, would I be practicing every day, walking around, doing my gym work, I would have never thought that. I had the procedure done in my knee. It was a miracle. I couldn't believe the relief that I've got. These treatments help to improve your mobility without surgery or downtime. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers gave me relief that I was looking for. They care about your pain. Covered by Medicare and most private insurance, we've helped relieve the pain for over 50,000 patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Center relieved my pain and got my life back. The rest is history, baby. <laughs> Remember, our procedure is covered by Medicare and most private insurance. So get back to living your life and doing the things you love with less pain. Call Arthritis Knee Pain Centers and schedule your no-charge screening now. Call 800-915-5717. That's 800-915-5717. They're still the coolest cars on the planet. Every day, Vinny and the award-winning team at Muscle Cars of Texas restore and rebuild classic muscle cars. It doesn't get any better than this. 
catch Lone Star Muscle, Saturdays on The CW. Hot Bench, today at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. I was on my way home and got hit by a drunk driver. Being a client to Terry Bryant made me feel very comfortable. I was very relaxed. I didn't have to worry about anything. That's what I really like. Thank you for joining us for this second half hour of Houston Happens and today's Top Talker after an epic roast session. If you guys have not watched it, you have to. The nation just could not stop talking about Tommy Boy Tom Brady. Let's be real, we love to talk about Tom Brady. Now during Netflix's greatest roast of all time, Brady took a lot of jabs about his professional and his personal life. One of the toughest jabs was Brady's divorce with supermodel Giselle Bündchen. During the roast, it looked like he took it pretty well, but now we know that that may not have been the case. It says, after going to the Pivot podcast, Brady said, quote, I loved when the jokes were about me. I thought they were so fun. I didn't like the way that they affected my kids. When you do something like that, you think it's one way, and then all of a sudden you realize, I wouldn't do that again because of the way it affected actually the people that I care about the most in the world. Ito's entered the chat. Okay, I'm here. Okay, so I, yeah. I, I do feel for him. They did kind of attack the mother of his children a few times. But the way they attacked it, they kind of gave her the power, like, oh, she's now with the jujitsu. Really? You think I so? kind of I think they just kind of made her seem like she was just mm. an unfaithful, un... I did get the fact that maybe she cheated on him. Yeah, that that was the part where I was like, ooh, is that is that real? Did that really happen? Because that would affect the kids and how they see their mom. Yeah. But also, did you notice every time they mentioned it, he drank some of this now, water? Yeah, well, it's water, right? He yeah, no, he doesn't alcohol. drink alcohol, no. I thought maybe that night he made an exception. Mm -hmm. I, I actually have been thinking about this because mm -hmm. I say a lot of things. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think sometimes too. after we talk, do our talkers I'm so in the moment and mm -hmm. we're just real we talk mm -hmm. about it and I'm like oh wait I'm a mom now I am mm -hmm. I'm a wife yeah does it affect those I love so I'm always you know especially with May when she gets older mm -hmm. but I don't know something like this He's the, yeah, that's a hard, this is a hard one. Well, so do you not do things? I, well, no, I think like he came in and he said, I was naive about the situation and I thought it was just going to be about me, but. Oh, that, well, Tom, that's divorce, dumb. Yeah, their divorce is just so high profile. And he's not that naive because Robert Kraft, he said jokes off the table about him. Yes, he did. So, but here's the thing. I don't, you can play dumb all you want. Tom, I love you too, <laughs> but don't play dumb with this blonde, okay? <laughs> because I think that's absolutely stupid yeah. to say. Yeah. And his kids are that age, and especially yeah. like the little girl and I everything. Think 14 and 10, I looked. And then 16 is the one he had with Bridget, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's and right. And they made a jab about him leaving her and stuff. Yeah. I mean, we're not famous like that at all. So I no. don't know how you shield your kids from that. It I mean, it just brought it, uh, and I'm sure the other thing, the thing like the kids at school are like, oh, I saw the the, the roast on your dad. Like, did he really cheat? Like, personally, I wouldn't want to cross Giselle. She just seems mean to me. Like, she's got really? that aura. Like, she's like, no, Tom, I'm not putting up with this. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna add this to my divorce lawyers. <gasps> I just feel like Ooh. she would be like, uh, uh, Ma but also as a mother, she's Mama Bear her comes kids, out. Yeah. yeah. So I, I don't know. What would you guys do? I don't know. Because that roast, I've been part of them, but I also wasn't married and with a mother yeah. at that time. So. Yeah, that's true, because they could come after your kids, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, no, kids, they, they didn't go after the kids, thank goodness. But yeah, but the marriage part and all that. It was yeah. definitely some heat. Mm -hmm. You know what else? There's some heat. In the forecast. Oh, yes, most definitely. Today, we could be crossing that 90 degree mark. It's about time, Just I guess. Just don't do that feel like. Are you doing the muggy meter? No, not today. Okay. No, we're talking about severe weather. Oh, fine. <laughs> yeah, we could see some severe weather Great. tomorrow. I'm sure everyone loves to hear that, especially to the north. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly where the hot spots oh, are, Maggie. Look thanks, at that. Mother Nature. Meteorologist Maggie Fleckno, <laughs> thank you. 
Okay, so for tomorrow, Thursday, we do have the risk of seeing some severe weather threats. I want to get this out of the way. Tornadoes, it's about a 2% chance. It's not zero, just have to mention it. But really, I don't think that's going to be the biggest threat we have to deal with tomorrow. It's going to be the possible hail and also the strong winds. Uh, hail could be up to an inch in diameter. Winds closing in at 58 miles per hour. And also flooding. We are going to possibly see one to three inches of rain, especially north of I-10, maybe even more than that. So that it's possibly we could see some flash flooding around some of these already saturated grounds that surround the river banks. So this is one thing we want to keep an eye on for tomorrow. But this is only if those storms turn severe, which we have a low chance of seeing, but it is there. All right, let's talk about the rain now. Look at this kind of reddish, copperish, rust color. That means we have a moderate chance, about a 40% chance, of seeing some excessive rainfall. That's uh, two plus inches of rain. And again, that's mainly north of I 10. So let's take you through this with Futurecast. I'm going to start the clock for today. You'll notice we don't have much activity except for a few clouds. But Thursday, already by noon, here come the spotty showers. Let's put this into motion for 3 p.m. Look at that. The northern counties starting to see some heavy rainfall. That can continues to cross closer to I-10 by 6 p.m. And already look at that Trinity River, Brazos, uh, also the East Fork of the San Jacinto, all under flood warnings right now because of this rain. Uh, that continues to scooch off to the east by 9 p.m. And then Friday morning, we may see some lingering showers that will add on to the inches of rain we could be seeing by Friday night. So by total with this storm complex, we're looking maybe at four inches in some spots, localized higher. That's why we we have the uh, river flood warning still. We'll keep an eye on any flood advisories for you as well. And we're still seeing some major flooding right now along the Trinity River at Liberty. The East Fork of the San Jacinto River also still seeing some flooding conditions there. Plus the Brazos River in Fort Bend and Brazoria County. You also have a flood warning in effect because of the rain that's coming. That's uh, again tomorrow rain, especially north of I-10. But for today, we're looking at a high of 91, partly cloudy conditions winds from the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So I say if you need to mow your lawn, get it done today because we're getting more rain and it's just going to make it thicker and harder to mow, Maggie. I know we we're talking about this. This is our adult. Oh, we're I in the adulting era right Let, now. Let's not go crazy. I don't mow. Oh, let's, <laughs> no, mow way! No. Seth Comer has entered the chat. No way. Oh, no mowing. way, mow way. What? Do you mow, Eden? I don't. I'm allergic to grass. I'm allergic. Wait, you make your kids mow? Of course. Do they do it in a straight line? That would bother of me. Of course not. <laughs> but they have to, like, I refuse to let my kids live for free in my house. I like, am a big, I say chores are a big yes. deal. Okay. Uh, actually, psychologists, uh, kid psychologists say chores are the best way to teach kids grit and resilience and responsibility. It's also like one of the best things you can do for your kids so that they grow up to be responsible adults. All right. Noted. There you go. Don't there we go. Whoa. Oh. Child psychologist Whoa. Ito over there. She has thoughts. And <laughs> as you all might have heard, Seth Cover has entered the chat. We've already been talking about his amazing hair. Well, so, I was yeah. my dad's yard man for many years, so I know I about the good. mowing of the yard. So is my kids. husband, and he's yes. what? I mean, that's just what happens. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. But talking about grit and grace, mm. that's our community. And I hate to even bring this up. Yeah. The only hurricane I like talking about is the drink, but unfortunately, we're just a couple of weeks away from it's the beginning right the of hurricane season. It gets a pit in my stomach. And to get you prepared, we're putting together a hurricane season special called Eyes on the Gulf. And a feature story on Team Rubicon will actually be part of that special. And Seth is putting it together for us. So tell us about this. Team Rubicon, it's veteran-led. You don't have to be a veteran to be in it. There are some first responders, current and former, many veterans, but also everyday people like you and me. They roll up their sleeves, they get real dirty, and they get the muck out of houses that get flooded. Wow. everything out to the curb so it gets hauled away. They do so much work and they're doing so many good things for people in our area and there's so many people in that position right now in our yeah. area. Yeah, well I'm excited to yeah. learn a little bit more about that. Absolutely, let's, let's go ahead and take you up to okay. Huntsville where there's flooding going on, so many people out of their homes. I want to introduce you to some of the people taking advantage of the Team Rubicon program. Wonderful people like Flo Rayon. This is my home. 
and it's just it's just amazing what Mother Nature can do. Mother Nature put Flo Rayon's home in her crosshairs earlier this month as torrential rain caused the Trinity River to rise and enter her home. I'm four seven and a half, maybe. Maybe four eight with my boots on. So looky there. Knee high water left wood paneling and insulation, taller than flow, soaked. Once the water went down, it needed to be ripped out and hauled to the curb, along with everything else she lost. Oh man, some of the pictures dried out. This is my grandbaby when she was one. <laughs> but you know it's made of paper, so look at that. But mold like that won't grow inside Flo's home. That's because she flagged down a Team Rubicon truck. Teams of volunteers moved in, and they got rid of all that wet stuff. I I'm telling you, it was a blessing from God. I mean, they were just driving by. And, you know, because I'm like, oh my God, it'll take me forever. Well, you can find out more about Team Rubicon and that feature story that I'm putting together for our hurricane special. Eyes on the Gulf is going to start airing on May 31st. We're going to have it several times during the summer and will be available on the website CW39.com as well. So a lot of folks putting in a lot of effort for the special. I know. And these folks putting in so much effort for so many flood victims. And I had never heard about them. Nor had I. Actually, I had meteorologist Adam uh, Kruger brought it up to my attention and I loved meeting with them. They had the best attitudes. And amazingly, the flood victims themselves are positive and you wonder yeah. if they're just kind of working off that good vibes. and in a bad situation. I love that. We're always stronger together. That's so it. thank you for that. And we can't wait for the special. In the meantime, we can't wait for more Houston Happens after the break. Who are you? I don't even know you. Uh, you don't ask questions. I ask questions. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. Health Choice Helpline. I'm senior ad. It says I could get a zero-cost health plan with a $1,400 subsidy to cover my costs so I have more money for things like rent and groceries. Yeah, you could be eligible based on your income and zip code. I've just got a few quick questions. Are you under 65 and make less than $50,000? Yes. And are you on Medicare or Medicaid? No, I'm not. Perfect. Now I just need to check your zip code and see if you're eligible for a zero-cost health plan plus a $1,400 subsidy. Call 800-488-1152 right now for free to see if your income level and zip code qualifies you for a no-cost health plan that covers all costs for things like prescription medications and doctor's visits. You can even find a dental plan. Plus, get a $1,400 subsidy to cover costs so you have more money for things like gas, groceries, rent, and utilities. Call 800-488-1152 for free and find out in just minutes if your income Income and zip code qualify you for a $1,400 subsidy, so you have more money for the stuff you need. Call 800 488 1152. 800 488 1152. It's here the Rooms to Go Kids Memorial Day bed sale. Give your kids the room they've been dreaming of at low Memorial Day sale prices. Add a pop of color with upholstered beds on sale as low as $225. Shop bunk and loft beds on sale. Disney and Star Wars themed beds on sale. Storage beds with so many options on sale now. An incredible selection of quality kids furniture at low Memorial Day sale prices. The Rooms to Go Kids Memorial Day bed sale is going on now. Here's what you know. You were injured in a crash involving a big truck. But here's what you don't know. While you're trying to recover, the truck company is already taking steps that could hurt you and your family. Combing the crash site, talking to witnesses, coaching their drivers, trying to shift the blame away from them and onto you. And if that sounds bad, what comes next could be even worse. Let Terry Bryant protect you. Call 713-973-8888. Houston, Texas. For four decades, Walker, Texas lawyer has represented the beautiful people of this beautiful city. But we know in this city, an accident can happen at any moment. Don't go against the insurance companies alone. They have their lawyers. You should have yours. If you've been injured in an accident, call Walker, Texas lawyer today and put four decades of experience on your side. Visit walkertexaslawyer.com today. Now it is 9.43, and there's nothing like the smell of hickory and charcoal from the grill. Jessica Wills is actually standing by with some of the top products to level up the next barbecue at your home from ConsumerResourceBestReviews.com. 
Warmer weather means dusting off the grill and firing it up for your next backyard barbecue. Joining us now with the top tested products to make you the grill master this summer is Senior Director of Content Operations from bestreviews.com, Jacob Palmer. Jacob, thanks for joining us here. Thanks so much for having me. You know, every week we get to talk about awesome things, but this is truly one of my favorites because it means so much more than just making delicious food. It means you're outside, it means you've got friends around, it means that it is that beautiful time of year. You're bringing us some of the best products to keep us uh, at the top of our grill game. So what are we starting off with first? So starting off hot, and I mean that literally. <laughs> uh, these are Le Creuset. They have a new line of cast iron that's perfect for the grill. What I would totally recommend with this is when you get it onto the grill, say you're making something like chicken fajitas or you want to be able to do the veggies on the grill as well, that is an awesome compliment to whatever you're doing. This is so cool. I love that. I don't think I've ever seen this or thought of like having the pan on the barbecue. So I love all the options that this is going to be able to give you for all of your summer meals. But you might need to keep some things cool as yes. well. So what is it? What Igloo is doing with this one is they're really bringing the aesthetic forward. And so this is a really cool kind of 90s style, almost like a fanny pack. Mm -hmm. If you're going over to somebody's house and they're having the barbecue, you can bring your own, you know, personal supply of beverages this way. And this is one of those products that usually stands up. Igloo is one of our absolute favorites because they live at that perfect intersection of number one, getting the job done, keeps your drinks cool. And then number two, they're affordable and they're easy to get no matter where you're looking. I just love that this is so stylish. So yes. when you're bringing over those cool snacks or drinks, you're going to look cool with this little retro cooler. Well, you can't have good food on the barbecue without the perfect seasonings, right? This is another one that just steps your game up a little bit, right? This is from a small uh, woman-owned business in Chicago. They have a little bit of something for everybody. You'll be able to find the brand in the QR code at the end of this segment and be able to, you know, pick and choose which different varieties you want. They look nice, they're well presented, and then they make the food delicious. Well, this is kind of all in one, all the things that you need, that's gonna have your flavors just popping off this summer, I love that. Well, you can't have become a grill master without the perfect grill. The right? grill, of course, and so this is perfect, and it's our favorite for people who are, like I was talking about earlier, maybe spaces at a premium, they don't have the space in their yard or their balcony or whatever to be able to have a huge grill. This one, this unit from Kenmore is awesome because as you can see, you can easily place it on a table. You can put it away when you're done. It's got a really great grill rack on it, too. And the way that they have it set up with the burners inside means that you get a good even heat distributed across the entire unit. Set, it sets in well with a propane tank, so it's nice and easy. You don't really think too much. You don't want to be fumbling with charcoal or anything like that. So we love it for that reason. But if you're looking for something bigger, a really hot item right now is the Blackstone line of products. Uh, and that's another great one, really easy to clean. A lot of people, city living, if you, yeah. need, if you have a smaller space, this will be perfect. Um, but then, of course, if you want the big granddaddy, you got that <laughs> as well. Okay, well, we also, at a barbecue, at a cookout, we need somewhere comfortable to sit and lounge. It's from Park It, and they have their own uh, seat line here that kind of has it all. Number one, it breaks down really small, so you can carry it easily. But then the real seller here is that it comes with the cooler on it itself. And I love anything that does two jobs in one. That's Jacob, right. these are all amazing products that are going to kick off everyone's summer barbecue just perfectly. Thank you. And thanks so much for having me. Yes, of course. If you want to learn more about any of these grilling products from Best Reviews, you can scan the QR code on your screen or you can head on over to bestreviews.com. That made me pretty excited for summer barbecues. All right, so just in time to celebrate our furry friends, the Nextdoor app is revealing new insights about the relationship between pets and their owners. Nextdoor is the essential neighborhood app and has developed a platform to help support and care for pets. In fact, pet expert Kristen Levine has the story. Hi, I'm pet expert Kristen Levine, and I'm teaming up with the Nextdoor app to celebrate National Pet Month. One thing that definitely matters for neighbors is responsible pet ownership. Nextdoor is an app where real people, businesses, and public agencies discover and discuss what matters in the neighborhood. In fact, one in every three households uses the Nextdoor app, and more than 80% of neighbors on Nextdoor have pets. Nextdoor is also a place for pet lovers to connect. It's where pet parents can share tips for keeping pets healthy, photos, advice, and alerts when a pet is missing. Now to celebrate the special relationship with pets, Nextdoor looked at why people decide to share their homes with pets. 
the top three reasons were companionship, mental health, and to be more active. Another benefit of the Neighborhood app provides big savings in the for sale and free section for gently used pet care items. Also, neighbors can search for pet clinics, sitters, and other pet providers with the Neighborhood Fave Badge, which indicates they're trusted by locals. And of course, one of the biggest reasons pet owners turn to Nextdoor is for help finding a lost pet. Sharing photos and information and getting that whole community involved is a really effective way to locate a lost pet. In 2023, more than 193,000 pets were reunited with their families through Nextdoor. I'm author and pet expert Kristen Levine. Download the Nextdoor app or visit nextdoor.com to connect with a community of pet lovers. Well, speaking of dogs, the Westminster Kennel Club hosted its annual dog show last night, and a lucky dog won the top prize. Are you ready? A miniature poodle named Sage has actually won Best in Show at the event. Sage bested six other finalists. Look at her. Oh my goodness, how long do you think it takes to get that quaff done? Uh, she, yeah, she beat out six other pooches to claim the award at the country's most illustrious canine event. A German Shepherd named Mercedes placed second. Each stood, strode, and sought to shine before the judges and all more than 2,500 dogs, spanning about 200 breeds and varieties, entered the show. They're judged according to which one best matches the quote standard or ideal for its breed. I also saw that this winner owner it's their first win and they're retiring after this so what a way to go out well the Houston Zoo has welcomed a 9,500 pound new member Chuck is the new kiddo in town the bull elephant oh my goodness I have to take May she loves elephants it is making its Houston debut and its new home he was actually born in 2008 in Ontario Canada and most recently lived at the Denver Zoo Chuck's arrival to Bayou City comes at the recommendation of a program that works to ensure a diverse and sound population Chuck looks ready for his new adventure in H town the zoo says he'll have the opportunity to mingle with some of the ladies next door in the cow yard and if you've not seen what they're doing at the Houston Zoo and the elephant exhibit that they have there it's really really incredible all right well whew, yes I did that May loves it when I do that stay tuned we have plenty of Houston Abbots after the break who can you call when you need immediate help any time of day or night even when you're hundreds of miles away from home. Always giving you and your family peace of mind. Knowing that people, benefits, and services are there for you 24-7. Over 50 million members rely on AAA, America's largest motor club and most highly recommended major roadside assistance provider. AAA's legendary roadside assistance is a network with over 50,000 vehicles that respond to more than 32 million assistance calls every year. If something happens and we're broken down, my family's not going to be stranded. There are so many benefits to membership, and AAA is there if you're locked out of your car, need a tow, run out of gas, have a flat tire, or a dead battery. You know, if you have one flat tire or one battery service, that membership fee pays for itself. Wherever you go, wherever you are, you can trust AAA to be there when you need them. Call AAA today and find out how much you can save. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. When disaster strikes, call Terry Bryant. All too often, a catastrophic event happens and innocent people are hurt and killed. Refinery explosions, train crashes, construction accidents, offshore rig disasters. When it matters most, call board-certified lawyer and former judge Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. You deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. At HCC, your dreams are within reach. When I grow up, I want to work at the hospital. When I grow up, I want to work in a lab to build robots. When I grow up, I want to work at a school and be a teacher. From classroom to career, we're with you every step. Register for real-world education at hccs.edu.
A News Nation exclusive, what happened at the pageant? Miss Teen USA runner-up Stephanie Skinner talks to Dan about her shocking refusal to accept the crown, how her decision impacts the pageant world. Plus, conservative author Ann Coulter joins Dan live tomorrow starting at 9 Eastern, only on News Nation. Hi, I'm Nathan with Seldom Micah, Houston's easiest way to sell your house since 1998. Wait, that's before I was born. That's right, son. Will you give us the opportunity to buy your house? When you call 713-565-5000, we'll buy your house in as-is conditions with no inspections, no repairs, no closing costs, and no commissions. You can even choose your closing date. Call us today at 713-565-5000 for your free, no obligation offer, 24 hours a day. That's 713-565-5000. Three of the popular Netflix series Bridgerton premieres tomorrow. Dean Richards talks more about the upcoming season and a docu-series focused on a two-time Oscar winner. I would not be angry if I'm to be a lost cause. You must not say such things. You are Penelope Featherington. Do not forget that. Season three of the Smash series Bridgerton arrives on Netflix tomorrow. This time a former wallflower is helped by an old friend as she sets out to seek a proper husband. What do you know about this whole I think it's a portal to the past and future. On Amazon Prime, Josh Brolin is a Wyoming rancher who finds a mysterious portal to other dimensions on the outskirts of his property. See it starting tomorrow. They're expecting you at every crossing. Hey, that's why I'm leaving the country. You're going to need disguises, transportation. You're the hotshot producer, man. Produce this. In The Big Cigar, a Hollywood movie producer plots to smuggle the founder of the Black Panther Party, Huey P. Newton, out of the country before the FBI closes in on it. See it on Apple TV Plus Friday. And on Max Now, a teen girl finds a new life in Italy when her dad marries a world-famous pop star in Home Sweet Rome. He wasn't responsible with that power. He used it like a weapon. Spacey Unmasked focuses on the downfall of two-time Oscar-winning actor Kevin Spacey amid a flurry of allegations of sexual misconduct. The docuseries features never-before-seen interviews from several of the accusers. See it on Max now. Ashley Madison was a cash cow. And then all of a sudden... We got hacked. Now on Netflix, there's Ashley Madison, Sex, Lies, and Scandal, looking at the site that catered to married people looking for affairs and the data breach that brought it all crashing down. The pillowcase murders follows a man targeting senior citizens in assisted living communities. It is streaming now on Paramount+. Plus. On Amazon Prime, 99 tells the highs and lows of a fairy tale season with soccer great David Beckham and Manchester United. See it Friday. And for new reality shows, Love Undercover follows professional soccer players going incognito as they go out on dates looking for love. See it now on Peacock. Well, as always, you can get my weekly movie reviews and home video pics sent right to your phones every week. Just text the word Dean to 97999. Hope you have a great weekend in Chicago. I'm Dean Richards. I always love hearing from Dean. In the meantime, that's nearly a wrap on today's show. Before we go, here's a look at today's sponsored content brought to you by Nextdoor and Best Reviews. And we'll see you back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happens. In the meantime, bye for now. Have a great day, everybody.